What do we have here? This is uh, an old thousand gallon wine tank that collapsed and we current converted it into a biochar kiln after many other failed experiments. Uh, this one allows us to create biochar in a, con in a, in a, in a, in a controlled fashion um, and it allows us to kind of extinguish on demand. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's a good so system. So how does it operate? So we use a bottom-up method. Uh, we'll start a small fire on the bottom of this tank. And as an ash layer develops, uh, a nice thick ash layer develops on that initial fire, that initial wood that we lit, we'll add another layer. And it's basically this transfer of heat. So. What's happening is that there are a lot of wood gases or sin gases, they call them, uh, trapped within your whatever you're burning, whatever wood material you're burning. And as the heat pushes those gases out of that wood, those gases are then combusting, which is where you see that flame. Uh, the idea here is, you know, we create with this tank and the way it's kind of concave in nature, we create a smokeless fire. So any smoke or particulate matter, which is what it actually is, is if it's trying to escape or roll out of the kiln, because this is concave in nature, the fire and the heat sucks that particulate matter back into the flame and it's consumed in the flame rather than going into our atmosphere. Um, and we create, you know, it's a, we create a usable product. We create a storable form of carbon. This is all, um, as we make the biochar, it all gets incorporated into our compost pile. In the compost pile, it's, it's being charged. Um, so it's absorbing nutrient, it's absorbing moisture, it's absorbing fungi and bacteria. And as when we spread the compost into the field, the biochar is being spread with that compost. So um, rather than having these massive bonfires that, you know, every farm operation typically has to deal with their wood waste and, and releasing all that particulate matter into the atmosphere, we're now no longer having bonfires and, and turning all that wood waste into a usable form of carbon a storable form of carbon and, and we're no longer filling the valley with smoke and how finely do you grind the biochar before you apply it not too fine um it, like like this or? It, yeah it pretty much gets incorporated into the compost like this as is um and then as the as the compost is turned and moved around it will break down over time um, so we don't, we don't go too fine with it. We kind of leave it as it is, but again, just a way for us to be better. Is it making a huge impact, immediate impact on the vineyard? Probably not lasting impact possibly, but, uh, we're no longer, you know, emitting tons of particulate matter into the atmosphere, uh, you know, it's, it's giving us a way to deal with all the wood waste that we're harvesting from our oak woodlands to create more grazable ground for the sheep. You know, just a way to be better. And again, a closed loop system, like you were saying right. before. Right. Yeah, totally.